Hello, it's Priyanka this time. So since this is supposed to be a short self-introductory video, we'll begin from the very basics. And to begin with, I come from the town of Jabalpur, which is situated in the state of Madhya Pradesh, and this also is the city where I completed my schooling from. So about schooling, from the 11th and 12th grade, the subject that I took was physics, chemistry, and biology. Biology because because I've just been a curious kid since as far as I can remember. So I would ask so many questions and my mom would go crazy. <laughs> I would ask her why this is like that, why that is not like this. Why do why do these tiny white caterpillars appear in the stack of rice out of nowhere? <laughs> and she would try to give me answers and those answers would mostly be based on religious mythologies. And you know, you know how they did not feel so right. They just you know, they, I just wasn't that cute, not satisfied with it. So I decided to seek out those answers for myself. And and biology was my knight in shining armor. <laughs> it rescued me. Or or even science in general, you know, because because ha huh, my my interests were diverse, I'd say. <laughs> so so till then I knew that biology is something that I have to prioritize, especially when it comes to career. Which is why I did my BTEC in biotechnology from from VIT alone, which is situated in Tamil Nadu. So I had to travel from Madhya Pradesh to to the state of Tamil Nadu. And then I cleared gate 2016 with all India rank of 267. And that helped me land a seat in IIT Kharagpur's master's program. So I was doing MTech in agricultural biotechnology there. Now there I was also supposed to be the teaching assistant. So along with completing our normal curriculum, we were supposed to take lab classes for, for the BDEC students. And that, as far as I can remember, has been one of the best, best choice career-wise. Why? Because, because number one, there was biology, which is something that I love. Number two, I could teach. <laughs> And teaching is something that comes so naturally to me. Why? Because, because my mom, my dad, my grandma, my grandpa all have been teachers. And, and you know how kids just copy everything that others do. So I also used to copy them. I would teach. I would teach my siblings. I would teach my neighbors. I still do. <laughs> Whenever somebody tells me, I'm like, yes, come sit down. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and, and, and it's not just that. You know, along 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 with it being something natural to me, I feel the only thing better than having your satisfied the only thing better than having your curiosity satisfied is to satisfy the curiosity of others. So I remember I remember having these moments when I would say something and I could literally see it in the faces of people that that they were happy listening to what I said. For example, this one time when I was giving my seminar which is which is a part of our MTech curriculum. So we are supposed to give seminars on some research paper that has that is given to us by the teachers. So I was giving a seminar and and by the time I was done with the seminar, one of my classmates clapped. And, and that was awkward because you're not supposed to clap. The professor was giving her weird looks. She's like what? <laughs> but but I was so happy. Like it's it's such a special memory for me because I could see that she was moved by what I said and and I'm wearing the same dress that I did that day. <laughs> so this is how special that is. Um, but anyway, enough about myself. Enough about myself. Sorry. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for listening to me patiently. And, and I hope you have an extremely pleasant day ahead. Thank you once again.